What's going on everybody? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back today with another solo money glitch and a two player method for the same glitch. It's not new, I mean technically it's a new method, but it's the Sultan glitch. So I'll put new in the title because it is a new method, but it's the Sultan glitch. It just will not die guys. Uh, shout out to Glitch Guru straight up for you know coming up with this. But man, am I tired of this glitch, especially for trying it for hours last night, trying to get it to work. Here's the bad news, all right? On Xbox, we can't do this glitch, guys. Unless you guys find a way, on Xbox, it just does not work, okay? The reason being, you have to combine it with the God Mode glitch that not many of you even saw from my video, I could tell. I only got a thousand views on that, but that God Mode glitch is kind of intertwined with this duplication glitch and that is the only way to actually do it i tried other methods to try to get it to work for us on xbox it just doesn't work playstation you guys should be good so i'm going to show you the footage of how far i'm able to get in the glitch and uh yeah i can get the sultan stacked i can do a lot of stuff but yeah i'm going to show you guys how to get to uh each step by the way the pinned comment will have the solo money glitch steps and it will have the two player money glitch steps i recommend the two player you can do more way quicker and much much easier so first you got to get the sultan stacked so this is what you got to do have your sultan in your moc in the personal vehicle storage with your left hand you want your left index finger to be pressed a quarter of the way down on the reverse or left trigger and then you want your left thumb to be on right on the d-pad just holding it and then your right hand you want your right thumb to be holding start now once the guy starts the car puts his right hand back up on the wheel right there you want to let go of the trigger and pause okay now here is a success i'm going to put it in slow-mo so i'm holding left trigger pause and right on the d-pad and then right when he's about to start the car hands about to come up boom i let go of right uh of you know left trigger and of pause and then you want the black screen to come up the pause menu to come up and you want to just keep holding right on the d-pad so that he kind of flips through the menus okay once you're at that point you should spawn outside on foot if you come back inside and you have stacked sultans you have done the i'd say probably the easier part of the glitch but a lot of people are having trouble with this i had no trouble i was stacking sultans all night uh so it does work on xbox to stack sultans but the god mode glitch is the you know the bitch of it that is the part that really just does not want to work on xbox reason being we get timed out playstation for some reason you guys don't get timed out you guys can keep doing it you know um and you guys will stay in god mode the entire time so at this point what you want to do is you go outside i was just taking my screenshot right here what you want to do is go outside and you want to go ahead and don't do what i did right here now i'm going to show you what happens if you go ahead and you try to call up your uh your sultan right away now i'm going to go ahead and try to call up the sultan so check this out i'm going to call up the sultan request personal vehicle from the moc so the original is going to come out and you're going to see right now look at the bottom left the bottom left it's just going to flash real quick just a flicker of the personal vehicle icon so check it out and there it is come on there it is okay just like that so reason it just flickered it's just part of the glitch now so what you want to do don't do what i did what you want to do is first just call up any motorcycle from your mc menu it's going to flicker call it up again so that it's up there and then just return it to storage okay you're going to see me doing it right here so i'm just calling up a fagio boom you know any vehicle doesn't matter and then just return it to storage and then you're good now you can go to the moc and you can request personal vehicle and your sultan will show up keep in mind this is the original sultan uh you do need a garage to put the uh the original sultan in an empty garage you don't want to be trading vehicles okay so once you've done that the sultan should appear right here on the map now at this point just drive the sultan into an empty garage or you know just if you got an empty spot just put it right in there all right so just like the other sultan glitches you do need custom plates for this you do need fagios or rh8s uh, and I'm going to explain both methods, okay? Because pretty much this is all the same right now for both methods. It just gets different once we uh, once we enter the uh, God Mode glitch state. But before we do the God Mode glitch state, we're going to do this right here, okay? So if you're doing the solo method, guys, on PlayStation, you want to go ahead and have... Uh, you want to go ahead and destroy one Fagio or RH8. Just destroy it. And then you want to go ahead and grab another one and put a street car or a street bomb or... Oh, my God. Uh, either a street car or or another Fagio or RH8 and put a remote bomb on it. If you're doing the two player method, which I highly recommend, what you wanna do 
is you want to actually do what I'm doing right here in the video. You want to call up all the Fagios or RH8s that you have that you want to turn into dupes and you want to just blow them up. All right. You want them just gone. Now, guys, know this for the two player method. Not many people are telling you this. You can get into bad sport. All right. The friend helping you blowing them up. He can get into bad sport and you're going to see what I mean. All right. Later, because I'm going to explain to you guys, you know, once I pass the God mode part, what you're going to be doing. Okay, but right now I'm setting up for the two player method, which I highly recommend. Uh, you're gonna just gonna be blowing up the amount of Fagios or RH8s that you want dupes for. Once again, for the solo money glitch, you guys want a Fagio or an RH8 destroyed, and then you also want another one to have a remote bomb on it put on it at LSC. Okay, and just leave it out there in the street. Once you've done that, so now you want to go over into your 10 car garage we're using eclipse towers here and you want to go ahead and switch over to the spectator view okay so if you're solo you're gonna have to do this in a public session all right that's the that's the sucky part about it but you're gonna have to do it in a public session shout out to bmx for helping me out i did this all in an invite only session if you have uh if you have a friend and you're doing the two-player method you can do this in an invite only i got the sultans to sack in an invite only so it does work in there as well so what you're gonna do is watch the spectator channel for roughly 10 to 20 seconds, okay? Once you've watched that, you're just gonna go ahead and exit out of it. So as you can see right here, I'm just spectating. This is why if you're solo, you can't do it in an invite only because you don't have a spectator channel, okay? So now that I've watched the spectator channel for 10 to 20 seconds, I think I did it for about 20 or 25, open up your phone, go over to play quick jobs and go to random, hit alone, and then it's gonna say, are you sure? You're just going to go ahead and confirm that. And then right when the phone drops down, smash right on the D-pad, uh, press it, spam it a few times, honestly. It works better. And you want to see this, all right? See this yellow hue that's about to come up on the screen, and then it's going to shoot you up in the sky, okay? So here we go. The yellow hue shot me up into the sky, and then now it's going to bring me into the spectator view. That is the successful thing you want to see. This is how you go God mode. Okay, so on PlayStation and on Xbox, we can get this far. So now you want to view the spectator view for about a minute to a minute and a half, depending on your internet connection, I think. This really does depend on internet connection and console. But uh, yeah, so I spectated in for about an hour, or sorry, a minute and a half. And at that point, I went ahead and backed out. This is what you want to see. No mini map at the bottom left. You won't even be able to press pause. You are glitched out in God mode. You're going to see right here why we can't do this on Xbox, okay? So you need to stay in this state to be able to keep duping cars, to dupe, you know, multiple cars. And watch when I go out of the garage. I didn't even make it out of the garage. And then look what happens. All of a sudden, I get a message that says that I've timed out. This is what happens on Xbox. Okay, there you go. Timed out getting job data. Please try again. That is what will happen. Minimap is back up on the left. Okay, this is why we can't do this glitch on Xbox, guys. PlayStation, you do not have trouble with that. So I'm going to continue the steps, okay? So PlayStation, what you guys want to do now is you can go ahead and get into... Uh, so I guess we're going to do the solo method first. I'll explain the solo method. So right after you're in God mode, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and if you haven't placed a remote bomb yet on the streetcar of the RHA, go ahead and do it now once you're in God mode. Now go into your MOC, convert it to the weapon and vehicle workshop, and don't touch anything, don't move anything, don't try to get in the car, nothing. You're gonna be all in like the twilight zone, just like black all around you. And then the car's just gonna be sitting there. Now, once that happens, you're gonna all of a sudden, everything's gonna load in and you're gonna be good. So you're gonna sit in the car, press right on the D-pad, repair the vehicle, and then change the plate or the color, you know, or, or both, I recommend both. Then you're going to go ahead and get to the exit vehicle menu and then just exit vehicle. Do not exit the MOC. Now, once you've exited the vehicle, open up your phone, go to the contacts and then detonate the bomb, you know, on the car that you put the remote bomb on. OK, and then you want to, uh, you know, just call it and that, that'll blow it up. So wait a few seconds for it to save at that point. Now go ahead and call Moore's Mutual, bring that vehicle back, whether it was a Fagio or an RH8, whatever it was, the one that you destroyed, bring it back, okay? Because we're going to be replacing over it, all right? So sit in the car again, press right on the D-pad, you know, you're going to be sitting in the Sultan, you're doing this all in the MOC, sit in the Sultan again, right on the D-pad to access the mod shop, repair the vehicle like it says, and then change the plate or the color again, all right, or both. Back out of that, hit the exit vehicle option, exit the vehicle, not the MOC. Then you call up Moore's Mutual, make a claim for that newly vehicle that was just destroyed. And then boom, you got 
you got yourself two Sultan RS's right there. So with the solo duplication glitch, you can only duplicate two Sultans, which will mean since you're spending, you know, 900 and like 55K, what you're gonna be doing is you're only gonna be making around 625K each time. So then you have to repeat all the steps again. You gotta get them all stacked again. You gotta do the God mode glitch and you gotta do the vehicle workshop, the remote bomb, everything. That's why I think the two player method is worth it. Once again, the solo steps will be put down in the pinned comment. Now, for the two player method, once you guys have finished up, you got in God mode, you have all your Fagos or RHH destroyed that you wanted uh, to make dupes, you want your friend to be over at Moore's Mutual, okay? So once he's, once he's standing there at Moore's Mutual at the business, you know, at the building, this is what's gonna happen, okay? So you're in the MOC, you, uh, you know, in God mode, you've converted to weapon and vehicle workshop, and then you didn't move, you didn't touch anything, you're gonna go ahead and call Moore's Mutual and make a claim for one of those Fagios or RHAs that you destroyed, okay, previous to, you know, doing the God mode glitch. Now tell your friend, he's standing by Moore's Mutual, What once he sees the claim vehicle that you just made a claim on, it's gonna pop up, he, uh, what's it called? Well, yeah, once it's popped up and he sees it, he's gonna let you know, and then you're gonna go ahead and, to, and hop into the Sultan RS inside of the MOC, change the plate, the color, you know the deal, back out, hit exit the vehicle, and then wait for the save icon at the bottom right to disappear. Once that has happened, go ahead and tell your friend to destroy that Fagure RH8 that you just made a claim for, all right, at Moore's Mutual. Then what you're gonna do is you open up your phone, call Moore's Mutual, and make a claim for the next destroyed vehicle, okay? Once again, wait a few seconds for the save icon to disappear at the bottom right. You're gonna sit in the Sultan again, press right on the D-pad, change the plate and color, and then back out and hit exit the vehicle, and then have your friend destroy the vehicle uh, at Moore's Mutual, rinse and repeat, okay? When you call Moore's Mutual and make a claim, uh, that is how you're creating the new Sultan RS. So that's all you're doing. You're just literally repeating that. That's why the Sultan RS uh, two-player method right now is the best one to do. Your friend just keeps blowing them up. But like I said, your friend can get into bad sport for this, okay? So make sure you don't do too many, all right? But uh, yeah, so that is pretty much it, guys. I got nothing else to add to that, uh, except that at the end, once you guys are done duplicating all your cars, what you do need to do, and this is for the two-player method and the solo, you gotta press or hold down on the D-pad, choose a story mode character, and then once you're in story mode, go back online, and then you can go ahead and you can see all your dupes. They won't appear until you come back online. All right, but those are the methods right there. I'm sorry we cannot do this on Xbox, guys, but that is just how it is right now. Uh, PlayStation, you guys should have no problems, but Xbox, since this is tied to the God Mode glitch, we cannot do this. At least I cannot. I time out every single time I do the God Mode glitch. I have not found a way around it, all right? So that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope you guys learned something. If you did enjoy it, make sure to slap that like button by pressing the blue thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new by hitting that big red button. And turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody.